Shalom. This is uh, Eli Adler uh, from Chalutza. Have a happy uh, Hanukkah. This uh, week is a very uh, interesting week. It is very rare that on uh, Hanukkah we read only the Sedra of Vayeshev. And the Sedra of uh, Miketz is already um, after Hanukkah. This happens once in maybe 25 years. And it's very uh, interesting because usually when we uh, read these uh, special sedras, you know, it, uh, these sedras tell us about the tense, the hate that developed in the family of Yaakov in Am Yisrael. And, uh, you know, it takes time. We have a few sedras. We have Vayeshev, Miketz, Vayigash, like the story has a happy end, but still, during the different paragraphs of the story, it is very uh, difficult, and it's uh, we have very uh, we have like less confident in the happy end that the family will be able to uh, unite, and we see the tense, the hatred that develops between uh, the brothers, and this year, like we end Hanukkah, after we only read the first like Sedra of this story, and it keeps us like uh, in a feeling, what's what's gonna be? What's uh, what, what does the future look like? Will the family uh, be able to unite? Will the love return to the family? And um, I feel that maybe even this year, it also has to do like with an actual uh, feeling that uh, today too we see, you know, we, Baruch Hashem, we, after 2,000 years, we have the schut to unite together in, in, to Eretz Israel, have an independent state of ours, and we are uniting. But on the other hand, we feel, we see all the arguments, we see the hatred, we see the tense between the parties. And maybe this Hanukkah is makes this uh, feeling even uh, stronger. And it always um, opens like the question, will, uh, will there come one positive day where the uh, Jewish people will not only live in one state, but also uh, unite and have one, uh, one heart, one united uh, mind, one united uh, sight and dream of uh, the future. And I say, as the same way that maybe a thousand years ago, if you would ask someone if he sees like a, a logic, a possibility that one day we will have an independent state, that one day um, all Jewish exiles will you know, like unite together in uh, Eretz Israel, it would, it would be very hard to believe in this that this can be something which would happen in a natural way. There were not so many people who could believe that a thousand years ago. I think even Herzl, it was, it was difficult for him to dream to have such a state like we have today. So even though, you know, the prophets, they speak about it, they talk about it, even though to, like, to really believe that this could happen, it wasn't so simple. In the same way, I think, that we saw, we have, today we see, that this miracle happened. It happened. It happened even in a natural way. And Baruch Hashem, 72 years ago, um, we, we, we created, the Jewish people created the state of Israel. And we have an independent state, which is a dream. And I think the same way that today, we have to believe it might take years, it might even take centuries, but the history belongs to believers, to long, long-term believers. And that's what we see um, this week's Parsha and the next week Parsha, slowly by slow, step by step, the picture comes more optimistic. Even though the hatred even though the separation, the family slowly becomes united. 
And the next parsha we see even the Haftorah, the prophet of Yechezkel. And, uh, you know, the separation of the kingdom. We have the tribe of Judah and Ephraim, different trees, that each one of them has even an own, own uh, kingdom. And the God tells the prophet, take one tree, which is called Yehuda, take the other tree, which is called Ephraim, and unite them. And you will see how they will come, become to be one tree. And this is, um, I think, the same way that it was hard for us to believe 200, 500, 1,000 years ago, that one day we will have a state of Israel. I think we should learn from that, that we have to be optimistic, historic-wise. And the same way, after 2,000 years, Baruch Hashem, came the day, the dream of an independent uh, Jewish state, the same way in historic different um, different stops, different periods that we go through, I believe, I believe, I have a strong belief that the day will come and all the tribes, all the opinions, all the parties, you know, they will get closer one to each other. And we will turn to be one, one union, one united people. So I think this message is very, very important, especially on this Hanukkah. Even this Hanukkah, we, you know, we, we read the first paragraph of Vayeshev. And this second paragraph, the second parsha of the story, Miketz is already after Hanukkah. But, and even though that, Maybe the message is that even though we sometimes we feel less confident, we we don't see the uh, future exactly, how this family will come and be united again. But even though this story tells us, the Torah story, when we look, you know, into a wide vision of Parsha after Parsha, a historic vision, we see that this story has, has a happy end has an optimistic future. And I think this has to be our attitude today too. We, 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 we should not um, leave our optimistic faith that the Jewish people will come more and more united. We say on Shabbat, Ata echad, veshimcha echad, umi ke'amcha Yisrael go echad ba'aretz. This we say on Mincha, and the end of Shabbat, we speak about, about the fact that God is one, His name in one, and the Jewish people is one. This is our strong belief, and especially this year, we need this belief, and we have an optimistic future of the uniting of the people of Israel. Bezrat Hashem, as long we go on, we will continue. And with this attitude will really bring us the deep uniting of Am Yisrael. Am Yisrael Chai. And we have a great future. And we have to keep believing and keep thinking positive. So we should all have a happy Hanukkah. It's the end of Hanukkah. We should have a Shabbat Shalom. And the light of Hanukkah should, should have strong influence and we will go and see more and more light in our personal individual life and our Jewish nation life. Shabbat Shalom.